This is hydrogen tap. Getting late here. What you're looking at here is a heat sink that I've got in the water with a one of the Aaron Cell six by twelve inch plates. The heat sink is aluminum and it is on a negative pole. The plate to the right is going to be the positive pole and I'm hooking three batteries to it. The two on the left and one on the right. What I'm going to be doing is putting the full voltage through this. There is no electrolyte in the water. The water is distilled. It's as pure as I can get it anyway. There's a top view of the aluminum heat sink. The reason I'm interested in it is the fans or the splits in there. I call them fins, not fans. And uh, we're going to see what happens here. First we're going to see the capacitance of this. So I'm going to hook all the cells together. That's all the batteries. I'm going to hook them together right now. Three sets of 12. We'll see if there's any action here. And there really isn't. But what I'm going to do now is disconnect the batteries. And then I'm just going to put a meter across and measure the capacitance. Actually, it's not the capacitance. I'm measuring the voltage that is now in. across the two plates. One plate being the aluminum plate there. And we'll see what happens. As you can see, without any batteries on it at all, we're at 1.67 volts and it's going down. Now what I'm going to do is add lie to this while we're watching it. That will be interesting for some. A lot of lie. Interesting. To me it is. Now that's without any battery across it at all. What I'm going to do is find something to stir that up with. Guess what's happening here? No lie, right? I guess I don't even have to stir it up. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Should be able to see it. Let's see if I can get a better view. Look at that. That's pretty interesting, don't you think? All 
Uh, what happens if we stir it now? And that's without any battery on it at all. What I'm going to do is take this out here for a second. I don't know if you can see that or not. And put it back. Unfortunately, I just touched the two plates together. Well, that shouldn't matter. All right, let's take. Let's see what happens here. There's our voltage. Is that interesting, huh? That is, huh, that's just being generated from the, without any battery on it at all. you think that's an optical illusion. It's not. It's steady at 1.90 volts. No battery. You know, that's uh, quite neat. Now the question I have, and it presents more questions, right, is are we getting this from the voltage, or are we getting it from the action of the two plates, two different plates, which is this is aluminum, and the other is steel, stainless steel. In case you don't think it's much action, Take a look at the top. It's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. My expression, right? Look at that. Look at that. Before you start to do all this, I have no idea what's coming up. So before anybody, do not do this test at home. Who knows, it could be poison gas coming up here, I don't know. I hope not. 1.86, the voltage is going up. And of course as the voltage goes up, you get more action. This is without any battery at all, folks. I've got lye in there. Distilled water in two plates, right? This plate is, or was, the negative plate. The other plate was the positive plate. And then I put electrolyte in it, as you can see. 